Seven poor mentalities to avoid. Number one, poor in spirit. There are some people who look so defeated in life. They have lost hope, they made mistakes before. Now they only have bad advice left in their minds. Look at yourself in the mirror. The person you see in the mirror is your real enemy. He is the one you've got to fight every day. You have to kill that person and give birth to a new person. If you want to be rich in spirit, you can't get rich in spirit if you keep the person in the mirror alive. Learn the art of dying. Sometimes for you to live well, you have to die. It is spiritual what I'm talking about. That's why you are going to notice that whatever religion in the world you want to join, they have to baptize you. If you want to be a real Christian, a Muslim, a Buddhist or whatever else, they have to baptize you. They have to kill the old person and give birth to a new one that will stand and start what needs to be done. They have to renew you. You die spiritually and you get born again. That's exactly what happens if you want your life to reach the top. I will say that again. Look at yourself in the mirror. The person you see is your real enemy. Kill that person and give birth to a new one. Teach that person a positive mindset. Teach him habits and behavior that will make him unleash his true potential. Train that person to be spiritually strong and powerful. Teach him how to overcome setbacks and keep believing because as long as there is still life, there is hope. Number two, poor in love. We don't have self-love. We don't love ourselves enough. We don't do things that satisfy us. We care about the opinions of others about our lives. That's a problem. Something else I have to point out. Because of multiple breakouts with boyfriends and girlfriends, they are left with no belief in others. They don't believe people anymore because they have been hurt by people. Your life will never get better if you keep being hurt. Hurt people hurt people. Poor in love. He doesn't smile, no joy, no life. Life without love is a dead life. You don't live, you survive. How can you love others if you don't love yourself? Poor in character. They lie, they cheat and steal. They are troublemakers, they criticize a lot. Gossiping is something normal for them. No integrity, they promise to do things and they don't do it. You can't trust them, you can't rely on them to do something for you or to help you. They say they will back you up but they don't do it. They are crook. They are untrustworthy people. They are boastful, no humility, no respect. They insult anybody, anyhow. They don't know how to talk to people and how to differentiate people. Poor in character. Number four, poor in wisdom. Now there are people who are dumb, but they don't know that they are dumb. There are people who are dumb and they know that they are dumb. There are people who are dumb thinking that they are smart. Finally, there are people who are smart and playing dumb. You need to be the fourth type. Wisdom is not eventually knowledge. It's not intelligence. Academic intelligence is different from wisdom. Bishop Doug Heward Mills, one of the greatest and richest bishops in Ghana, once said, Intelligence is the ability to know things and wisdom is the ability to put into practice what you know. Knowledge is knowing what you can do and wisdom is knowing when not to do it. Wisdom doesn't have anything to deal with age, but age has something to deal with wisdom. Number five, poor in habits. They are lazy, they procrastinate a lot. They value comfort instead of freedom and success. They drink, they smoke, they take drugs, forgetting that spending money on those things makes them poor. Their distraction is dredging ladies. They are womanizers. They like so much social media. They prefer to spend a day not eating to spending a day without checking their social media accounts just to do bullshit. Stay away from those people. You are a product of your environment. You are a copy of people you hang around with. If you stay with those people, you will become like them. Number six, poor in attitude. A negative attitude is more contagious than a positive attitude. They have a negative attitude. I call them energy drillers. They suck the energy and life inside you. 
after talking to them you feel like taking a shower because you have received so much bad words and negativities from their talks they don't take risks they always want to play it safe they know that your attitude determines your altitude but they don't change their attitude towards problems and challenges how can you achieve greatness if you are poor in attitude number seven poor in finance they don't like money they don't talk about money they don't know how to make money they don't know anything about money they don't know how to save money how to invest money they don't even know how to make more money therefore they have no money poor in finance if they hear you talking about money they will say hey this guy is a thief he likes money but those people are the first to ask money to those who have they even ask money online to people they don't know they think that money is the rule of all evil they think that someone cannot get rich by working with his energy they think you have to be a freemason or you have to see a magician or a wizard before you get rich to them every rich person is a criminal a wizard or a freemason you'd better change this those are the seven poor mentalities you have to avoid now you may ask yourself what do i need to do how can i fix this if i have one of these poor mentalities take a challenge a 50 video challenge for 14 days watch 50 videos of mine on this channel in 14 days and your life will never be the same again